Hey guys, I am back with another empties video as promised. Uh, this is my first empties of the year, of course, and um, I haven't done one since, I think, October or November. So I have about like 12 things, which is okay for me. If you watch my Project Pan videos, I said I would be done with the C.O. Bigelow lip gloss and the Geo Girl Easy Eyeliner, but alas, I am not. And that Seal Bigelow lip gloss, if you know what I'm talking about, the one that they sell at Bath & Body Works, that one is just like impossible to finish. Anyway, so I will show you what I do have here. Some of these are like just packets. They're not samples per se, but they're like little packets. Oh, and I will post a link down below to my last Project Pan update so you guys know what I'm talking about if you don't watch them. So I have this Essential Ultra Honey and Shea Butter Rich Premier Hair Mask. This was on my Project Pan list for the last two years. Not this particular jar. I had finished two jars of this in the past year and one the year before, I believe. And um, I just bought a bunch of these before I left Taiwan when I was there in 2012 because I thought I would really like it for my hair. And it is nice and made my hair soft. Didn't really make my hair any sleeker though and it smells really good. But the main reason I stopped wanting to use it or wanting to use them up so quickly is because it contains dimethicone and I realized as I used it like more consistently that it was drying out my hair. So I would not repurchase that and I would probably have to go to like a specialty store to do that anyway. I finished this Jane Blushing Cheeks blush in Blushing Earth Sheer. Um, this was on my project pan list as well. I probably bought this back in like 2008 or so. I used to buy these like almost in bulk from like Rite Aid or something um, when they went on sale. This was Jane Cosmetics was like my go-to beauty line when I was in high school and part of college. So that's what this was and yeah I'm finally done. Um, the reason I wanted to get rid of this was because it had so like these big glitter chunks in it and my friends would point out that I had glitter on my cheeks and I'm like that's not very professional. So, um, yeah, Jane is, I think, now sold at Ulta for at least, like, 100% more than I used to pay for it. Like, they really raised the prices on that. I used up one of these Up and Up Cleansing Towelettes Makeup Remover compared to Pond Clean Sweep. Just a 10-pack. Um, I didn't really want to bring, I didn't have room to bring any, like, makeup remover with me when I went to New York for my winter holidays so I bought one of these when I got there and it was okay it worked well than I worked better than I thought it would but it didn't clean off everything like yeah I still had to like really go in there and stuff with like coconut oil oh speaking of I finished up and up and up and up I'm really like a target fan if you couldn't tell eye makeup remover liquid it says compared to Neutrogena oil free eye makeup remover um, and yeah, I tried the Neutrogena one one time, and I didn't like it. I thought it was too oily, but I heard so many good things about this. I'm like, I'll give it another shot, and it was just as oily. I, it says it's oil-free, but I don't get it. It's just It was, like, greasy, and I wear contacts, so it was, like, seeping into my... under my contacts and, like, like messing with my vision and stuff like that. I definitely prefer the Almay one. Finished... A lip balm here. This is the Body Shop Honey Mania lip balm. Um, I bought like the whole range of Honey Mania products last year around Black Friday. Last year being 2013 now. And yeah, this is the first lip balm I bought. I liked this a lot at the beginning. It was like waxier, but then as I got to the bottom of it, it became like pretty greasy and I felt like I had to reapply like every hour and a half or two so I don't like that. I have another one of these that I'll use up and I probably will move on to another lip balm because I'm such a lip balm fanatic anyway. I like to try a lot of different ones and I keep going back to Rev de Mia by Nukes and like I know it costs $19 but I'm so intrigued. If there's like a sale or something somewhere I'll probably get it. I finished up another lip balm. It's the Nivea a Kiss of Moisture one, the blue one. Um, I like the Honey and Milk one. I didn't really love this one, even though everyone, this is the one that most people rave about. It has like a vanilla plasticky kind of flavor, and that wasn't the reason I didn't like it. The reason I didn't like it was because it was so soft. The stick started bending, and I just had to keep like moving it back, and then it would just like break, and like it just, 
it was really glossy too so if you like that kind of lip balm then you know this might be for you but I like it a little more solid and waxy and I felt that I had to reapply that more often than I did with the uh, milk and honey one I finished up a frosted wonderland mini travel size body lotion from Bath and Body Works um, as you know I'm trying to go paraben free petroleum free and a lot of other things free but I couldn't resist one because I was traveling and like I was packing last minute I didn't have time to pack everything I needed so then I ended up just taking advantage of a Bath and Body Works coupon and getting a lot of trial size things or travel size things this scent though is the main reason I bought this because Frosted Wonderland is to me exactly the same scent as this scent from like winter of 1999 I think um, called Frosted Snowdrop I was in high school then and that was the very first very the very first lotion I finished completely so that just goes to show you like what kind of scents I like or that I don't know how much I like the scent which is weird because I don't usually like vanilla coconut scents but something about this is like really fresh and I know some people think that there's like fruit in this but I just smell vanilla and coconut I think more coconut than vanilla but it's like really wintry smelling to me and I just really like it I have another one of these and I also got the um, body splash which unfortunately doesn't last very long I feel like Bath and Body Works like not body splash anymore body mist body sprays don't last very long anymore so I don't know what's up with that I think it's all a scam here are all the little packets I was talking about um, I did my nails when I was there or I didn't before I went there and so I brought along these mani manicare nail polish remover pads I got these in Australia actually when I was traveling there and I love these things. I wish they sold this in the U.S. because what's so special about this is that they're peppermint scented so they don't have that awful nail polish remover scent and it's so weird that I'm sniffing nail polish remover. You can't smell anything anymore but it is amazing. I wish they would carry this specific product in the U.S. I also bought a um, Bliss like spa kit, one of those little boxes that cost $12. It came with a mask, a peel, like um, little wipes, and a moisturizer. I finished the moisture cream and the peel. And I love this kit, which is why I'm going to be doing a video on it in case you wanted to know more about it. I wouldn't say it was miraculous and made my skin look a million times better, but um, I think it did improve my skin like rapidly, like o almost overnight results. So I really liked it. And it's this smelled like oranges, and this kind of stung a little bit, but that's the whole point. It has glycolic acid in it. In it. Anyway, I will be posting a video sometime soon. -ish. I still have one more product of it to finish. Oh, here's another um, Manicare peppermint infused. I don't know if you can tell what this is anymore. Uh, I got this from. Amazing. I think I got this from an Ulta order, like a sample size. And it is the Amazing Cosmetics Velvet Mine Liquid... F oh, Mineral. <laughs> Velvet Mineral Liquid Foundation SPF 15 in the sample shade Medium Beige. I didn't like this. Mineral makeup and I have never gotten along for some reason. It just looks really cakey on me. And it looks heavy and looks like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. This one I applied, first of all, it wasn't my shade. It's a lot redder than I am. I found that it changed color on my skin a little bit. I'm not 100% sure that would happen on everyone, but um, I guess you could say it oxidized. When I went back to apply more the next day, it had all turned into like this rubbery kind of texture, like almost clay, but rubbery. So I thought that was kind of sketchy. And it has dimethicone in it, petrolatum, um, alcohols. A lot of dimethicone. Holy moly. A lot. <gasps> yeah, that might be the reason why it turned into this weird texture. I definitely would not purchase that. I finished a candle, and this is the first candle I've bought outside of Bath & Body Works um, candles in a really long time. It is a soy candle I picked up from Home Goods. It's the Therapy Natural Soy Candle in oak moss and amber. First of all, you can kind of tell how it burned. Yeah, that's crazy. Really bad. For a soy candle especially, that's pretty bad. The problem with this is that I think the wick wasn't big enough for this size 
like the diameter of this candle so I had to do a lot of babysitting and like put foil around it to make sure it would burn down evenly. It's a cologne scent definitely but like almost feminine and really clean smelling. I don't usually go for cologne scents but this one is like really bright and yeah just like cooling, fresh, and bright. I really like the scent. I probably would not, not purchase a Therapé candle again unless it's a three wick because look at this and also the scent came and went like the first time I burned it it was really strong the second time I burned it I didn't smell very much at all and then later on I smelled it again like the third or fourth burn I think they use essential oils and maybe it was getting like mixed up in the soil soil soy so that <clears throat> maybe like when it cooled down and like reformed. Maybe it was sinking down or something like that. So those are all of my products I finished in the past two or three months. If you have any questions about any of these products, let me know. If you have an empties video or a project pan video and you want me to check it out, send me a link below because I will. I love empties videos more than anything else. Thanks for watching and for subscribing. I will <clears throat> link all of those videos I mentioned in this video down below. And I will see you guys soon.